It is well known that uh, microtubule, the main component of the cytoskeleton, is cold sensitive. Uh, they become uh, unstable in low temperature. However, hibernators uh, withstand very low temperature for a prolonged period of time. And how their microtubule system uh, stable under those conditions is unknown. So we ask, what are the mechanisms that keep the microtubule stable at the very low temperature during hibernation? But there are many challenges in conducting hibernation research. For example, there are no transgenic hibernator model available, and there's limited accessibility to neonatal uh, tissues for uh, culture cells, and uh, we still are unable to induce hibernation in the animals. So we make the induced protein stem cells, or iPSCs, uh, from the 39 ground squirrels. Fortunately, these ground squirrel iPS-derived cells maintained their co-resistant feature by comparing human iPS-derived neurons to the ground squirrel iPS-derived neurons. We try to understand how they respond differently to co-treatment. Comparative RNA profiling of the squirrel and human neurons revealed that code exposure altered the expression of genes associated with the mitochondria. These bioinformatics results guide us to do experiment through which we identified mitochondria from ground squirrel neurons respond very differently from mitochondria of the human neurons. Specifically, this mitochondria response from human neurons leads to an overproduction of reactive oxygen species which could potentially damage microtubule structure. In addition, this overproduction of reactive oxygen species from mitochondria could cause change of lysosome membrane permeability. Protease inside lysosome may leak out, which cause further damage of microtubule structure. Looking for ways to pharmacologically prevent this code-induced damage, we identify two drugs that alter the course of microtubule de degradation in non-hibernators. The first one is BAM15, an uncoupler that inhibits the production of ATP in mitochondria, essentially slow mitochondrial activities and the production of reactive oxygen species. And the second one is a prote protease inhibitor cocktail to minimize damage caused by the leak protease from the lysosomes. We first tested this drug treatment strategies in human iPSC-derived neurons. Pre-treatment with BAM15 and the protease inhibitor cocktail preserved the long neurons of human iPSC neurons. We then look into retinal ganglion cells, or RGCs, from a rat's retina. RGCs in co-incubated rat retinas that were pre-treated with the drugs display 7 to 11 fold increases in light responsiveness. Lastly, we wanted to test the effectiveness of these drugs in non-neural tissues using mouse kidneys. When we added the drugs to UW solutions, the drugs significantly preserve tubulin proteins in mouse kidneys exposed to cold and help microtubules to recover after rewarming. The findings have brought potential medical applications, including the ability to prolong the viability of organs prior to transplantation.